heathen. Let's go to the closest one, which is seven cats in. Should be able to just use the uh, contract board. Yep, like this guy. I think it's this one. Meet the Knights of Toussaint. Okay. Only three out of ten boys survive the trial of grasses and become witchers. The rest die in agony. No. Thank you. We've not got no need for your help. Have no fear, oh, wait. Before we... Let me change the title. All right, here we go. Finally starting the Blood and Wine DLC. Our labors shall be done quickly. The Prowlers to be banished for good. Milton, look. Get out. In the flesh. Hey, Witcher. <laughs> Let us go inside and greet you as befits an old friend. And you, fear not. We shall put an end to the rule of outlaws soon. on a notice board <laughs> you see Palmerin I told you the griffin at white spectacles or I something knew, else we only to follow the tracks of its slayer we would in the end find Geralt Milton de Payrak Perrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. good to see you both been years we are short we share your joy you must forgive us our uh, surroundings when we pledged to place the village under our protection the village elder gave us this hat as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hat in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land still is at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. I'll be with these bandits. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmaron wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. All right. Coming. Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. As loud. Isn't that one of the mercenaries? <laughs> he mean us! I, Palmerin de Lonfall, call upon you to repent. Set your hearts. 
Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores, <laughs> abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> right, good jest, that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off while we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, oh. wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like? Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts? <laughs> Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. There's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's a feared of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron, you will pay with your own blood! By the crane, villains, ready your arms! Ah! Brain hair. Lost your nerve. <laughs> One more. And there we have it. Emerge? It is over. We have banished the scoundrels, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ah, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. Okay. I like this armor because it actually goes all black when you use the all black dye. And I don't know if I can get used to the spectacles, but it's unique, so I might rock them for now. ceremony. For tradition is sacred in Tucson. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star-Cross City's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses. Bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, oof. Some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately. It's like protection. Slender Man. Promising grants <laughs> of land and fortunes. Actually, gold, though. Should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. 
Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from Sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, ...demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! Toussaint. That's what I have. Should be interesting. I've never been to this area that we're going to. So it's going to be all brand new territory to me. Same thing with uh, the Blood and Wine DLC. So I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. And then this, once I finish this DLC, that'll be the end of my playthrough of Witcher 3. And then we'll be switching to something else, most likely sometime next week. I haven't fully decided what game I'm playing next. So, stay tuned. Stay Sam, tuned. The land of love and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. It's like they turned up the saturation a lot. You will find Beauclair has this area. Some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seems straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the Heron! so funny <laughs> big beast tackling it single-handed none too wise neither is love born of wisdom with you so Guillaume out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? 
Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Used as a tiny dagger, and you have a giant sword. Ah, uh, well, there first the uh, the head. All right. Uh, before we get started officially here, again, fill up my water, and then we'll continue. There we go. Yeah. So they really turned up the uh, saturation here. In undergo which are mutations that unlock new capabilities. Soon you'll run into a messenger or deliver a very interesting letter. Interesting. This place is so much more bright and like blooming and all types of stuff. I might need to turn that down. A little much, in my opinion. Can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. We are knights errant in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by. Let's see, what is the new bonus experience for monsters? Okay, and that's the bonus gold. Still rather have the dismemberment. Jeez, dude. All right, let me see if I can turn this down. It's a little much. Video. Motion blur, blur, turn bloom off. Oh my gosh. No one here. They must have so much better. Already. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. It's like hard on the eyes. Everything's on Ultra. Put your senses to reach the riverbank. Oh, to search the riverbank. Whoops. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Bunch of drowners. Got guests. Careful. Whoa. Maybe not. Ah, they're scary. Careful, man. Whoa. Drawn here by the smell of blood. Let's keep looking. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. He's on time, man. Make sure they didn't miss anything. DLC. Need to come to bank. <laughs> That's funny. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. 
I definitely did that on purpose. <laughs> Look, a boat was launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. Hey, armor for sleeping. Thank you for lurking. Appreciate it, my guy. Oh, Milton's there to ask if anyone saw where the body was taken. In fact, I'd feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Are we just walking there? I guess so. Once you have finished examining the corpse. Be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We oh, address no. each other by our first. Hold up, my other monitor just went. Whoa. That was weird. <laughs> 